Assemblymember Bloom, you are recognized at your desk for your adjournment in memory. Thank you, Madam Speaker. Members, today I rise to adjourn in memory of Mr. Sigmund Burke, an AD 50 constituent and Holocaust survivor who passed away last week at the age of 98. Mr. Burke was born as Sigmund Berkovics on March 5, 1924 in Tarpa, Hungary. As early as age eight or nine, he could recall the noticeable rise in anti-Semitism in his small village. His parents lost their tavern and grocery business as a result. Burke vividly remembered a knock on the door at 3 a.m. on April 15, 1944. News was delivered that he and his family would be deported and eventually separated, with Burke landing in the infamous death camp of Auschwitz. In the spring of 1945, Burke made the brave decision to escape if he could, and he did. He ran for his life, hiding for eight days before miraculously stumbling upon U.S. troops in Germany, where he was then liberated. He discovered that his father and his brother had also survived, while his mother, sister, and nephew had not. Burke met his wife of 50 years in Sweden. She too was a survivor from Hungary and they moved to Los Angeles where he earned a bachelor's degree in engineering from Cal State LA and became a high level engineer, a job that he excelled at for over three decades. An optimist in even the darkest of circumstance, Burke once remarked that the numbers tattooed on his body in Auschwitz, that uh, these tattoos were so common uh, for Holocaust survivors. His number was 82830. And he added those numbers up, it added to 21. And he decided to perceive this is a lucky number. Imagine considering that tattoo a lucky number. He believed as a result, quite accurately, that he would survive one of the most sinister events in human history. Burke has been described as a proud Holocaust survivor, a teacher of the Holocaust, structural engineer, crossword puzzle aficionado, self-taught violinist, a student of life, a Winston Churchill lover, and a devoted spouse who was loved by all who knew him. Sigmund Burke's remarkable story of survival, resilience, and a life well-lived are testaments to the strength and resilience of the human spirit. And he has survived, Mr. Burke has survived by his children, Bob, David, and Robin, as well as his daughter-in-law, Lori, and three grandchildren. May his memory be a blessing, and I ask that we adjourn in the memory of Sigmund Burke.